Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So, um, we have a new event that's going to be starting today, and I wanted to push this video out to you guys to let you know all of the challenges that we will be having, because I'm guessing that they're going to be time-gated over the next two weeks. So, Love and War. This is mainly creative mode, I want to say. Um, it's listed as creative challenges, so I'm expecting it to be creative mode. But Love and War comes with, let's see, two, three, four, five, nine different cosmetic items and two other banners. Um, so we have complete five love challenges. Now this is listed the same way as the Zev and Vex challenges for fusion. Uh, there's different ones for war, there's different ones for love, and if you complete five of them, you get a special style for the backboard back bling. So if you complete five love challenges, you get the love thorn style, and then if you complete five war challenges, you get the metal mask style. Complete five love and five war challenges. So if you complete all of the challenges in this entire bundle, you're actually going to be rewarded with the Twilight Strikers pickaxes, which this is actually a pretty good set of pickaxes. I was going to get it myself when they came out to the shop because they were supposed to be in the shop, but it doesn't look like they're in the shop anymore. They're free, so this is cool, and I really like that. Uh, for war, search and destroy challenges. Everything that I mentioned previously for search and destroy challenges, I guess you can get rid of. Uh, the only thing that's still the same is the cosmetic rewards. Um, play search and destroy matches, uh, you have to play five of them, and it rewards you with the metal mask spray that was originally available from the search and destroy challenges back in V11.40, which never came out. Another war challenge, plant or diffuse a bomb in search and destroy matches, and this gives you 15,000 XP. Love challenge. Place top 15 in duos or squad matches with a friend five times. This gives you the Love Thorn Spray, which actually I think it's called, what is it called? Thorny Love is what it's called. Another love challenge, purchase items from vending machines in search and destroy matches. This gives you 15,000 XP, you have to do this five times. Another love challenge, heal a teammate with a bandage bazooka, you have to heal them up to 100 and this rewards you with... So as I was trying to say, I actually thought the cosmetic reward from this challenge was something completely different. Uh, you actually get the beacon trance wrap that was leaked last patch. So that's pretty cool. We get an animated wrap for free. Um, the next challenge is a war challenge. Eliminate opponents in search and destroy matches five times. Uh, you get 15,000 XP. Another war challenge, eliminate opponents or revive teammates in a single match. You have to do this three times, and it gives you the I Declare emote, which I still haven't seen in game, but we will see it soon enough. Another love challenge is to earn gold in search and destroy matches. Gold, I think, is a new currency of some kind during the game mode. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I don't know what you have to do for that, but that's interesting. 15,000 XP is what you get from that. Uh, the next love challenge is to thank the bus driver in different matches seven times, and this gives you the Visions of Love loading screen. The next war challenge is purchase a common item from vending machines in search and destroy matches. This gives you the Visions of War loading screen. You only have to do this once. And the final war challenge is to deal a thousand damage to opponents, which gives you the Metal Mask banner. And the final love challenge is to gain 500 health or shields, and it gives you the Love Thorn banner. Everything that I listed in order is how they will come out. So from beginning to end, based on whether they are time gated or not, that is what you can expect these challenges to come out in order of. So the first challenges we're most likely going to get are the two war challenges, or maybe both that and the other two love challenges. And um, 
I don't know, I'm expecting to see around maybe two or three a day. So, I don't know. But that is all the Love and War challenges. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm sorry that it's slightly rushed. I want to make sure that it's out before the event starts in four hours. So, hope this helped. And I will make sure to update you guys with anything else that's new. Peace.